Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we will be building the swipe up interaction of Instagram Reel or TikTok. So let's see how can we do this in Figma real quick. So we're in Figma right now and the first thing that you need is an artboard. So I'll hit A on my keyboard and I'll pick an iPhone 14 artboard but you're free to pick any artboard of your choice. The next thing that we need, we need to build a frame which is exactly the same size as your artboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my artboard and you can either duplicate it by uh, pressing command D or control D on your keyboard or what you can do is you can hit option on your keyboard and your arrow changes into this double headed arrow and then you can just simply drag it out and it just creates a duplicate copy exactly same as your artboard. I'm going to name this frame as content. Okay, perfect. So this will be our main artboard. This is our content and now we'll be working with this content artboard itself. Now the next thing that we need right now is to add a GIF or a video to this uh, frame. So if you're on a paid tier of Figma, you'll be able to add videos. But if you're not on the paid tier, you can add GIFs as well. So I'm going to use a GIF here. So let's just quickly paste a GIF. One thing to notice here is that since all of this is a portrait format, so try to pick videos or images which are in portrait format. So they will just fit immersively on this entire thing. Okay, so now our uh, frame is ready. The next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, throw in some the some of the reels UI that we have. So you have some like, share, comment, and some name and all of those other things. So let me just quick quickly add the dummy UI here. So I've added the dummy UI on top of this uh, GIF. So I've added the like, share, comment, uh, bookmark, um, the profile image, some description copy, and the music information here. And this now looks like a UI from Reels. So now we have our first content piece ready. What we need to do next is basically select this option which says create component and we have to convert this into a component. Since we are working with the component, it will make our life a little easier. So we have created a component. Now what I need to do is I'll just duplicate it once and we are going to work with let's say four to five sort of content so that we can just create like four to five swipes up, swipe ups. So I'm just going to duplicate this and it'll create an instance of your main content. Now what you need to do here is I'll just double click it and it'll go into the GIF mode and you have to just replace the GIF with another content. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to select my other GIF that I already have here and I'll add it here. So just immediately replace the entire thing. And now you can also override the content if you like. So for example, if I want to do it, let's say, 1k that also is doable actually you should always work with component okay so i think in rest i'll leave it just like that i'll just change the images i'll duplicate it again again double click and replace this gif to another content perfect so now we have a second content piece ready again i'll duplicate it Okay, perfect. So all of my content pieces are ready. So I have one, two, three, four, five content pieces here and they have like different um, GIFs behind them. Now the next thing that I need to do here is I just have to place this, the second content below the first content. So just make sure that you just quick align them and there's no spacing in between them. So just align them neck to neck. Okay. And just stack them one over the other like this and create like a really long content um, sort of a content trail. So I'll just put it here. Just make sure there is no spacing in between them and also make sure that they are centrally aligned. Once you have all five of them in place, what you need to do is select all five of them, group them together. So I'll use my framing shortcut option command G and I'll frame them in one big group. I'm just going to call it swipe. Let's call it swipe. Perfect. So we have our swipe ready. And now what we need to do is we need to just drag it and put it in our main artboard. So if you see, you are only able to see the first reel, uh, the first content reel because the rest of them are hidden. If you have to uncheck clip content here, you'll be able to see the rest of them. So for now, I'll just do un clip content. I will just uncheck the clip content so that I can see everything. Now what you need to do is you need to create multiple variations of this. So I'll just duplicate it once 
and what I need to do is we are going to use the drag function for prototyping. So what I need to do is I'll just come here and select my group that contains all of these elements in the second artboard and I'm just going to move it up. Perfect. So in my second artboard, my second content piece is in the center. In the first one, the first was in the center. And what I have to do is again, I have to repeat the process in my third frame. I need my third content reel to be in the center. So again, I come here, I'll just select the entire group and I'll move everything up. Okay, so now we are ready. Uh, we have our five frames here and in each of the frames, uh, I'm just moving one of the content reels up. So in the first one, the first one is in the center, the second one, second in the center, third one, third is in the center, fourth in the center and fifth. So it'll look like this when you're moving it up. Now our task is almost done. What we need to do now is we need to just quickly link them through prototyping. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of the frames and I'm just going to first click clip content. So that we don't see anything outside of the artboard. Now the next thing that we need to do is, which is very important, come here and you have to select the group that contains all the element, which is the swipe element inside the artboard. And always select the inside element for drag. Click on the prototyping option. And what you need to do is, just drag one element from here to here. And instead of on tap, you need to do on drag, okay? So on drag, navigate to the next artboard, perfect. Smart animate, instead of linear, you should do gentle. And 800 millisecond or 600 milliseconds, perfectly up to you. You can just play with these numbers, okay? So the first one is linked. Now come to the second one, do the exact same thing. Select the inside uh, frame that contains all the elements. And what you have to do is you have to link one to the next artboard. And instead of on tap, you need to do on drag. Smart animate gently 800 millisecond. But here you also have to do one more thing. You also have to reverse uh, link it because once you swipe down, you should be able to go back to your previous content. So that you have to do the reverse linking and it should be exactly the same on drag gentle 800 milliseconds smart animate. And now you have to do this for all the elements quickly. So let's quickly do that. Perfect. So we are done with our linking. Let's see how this looks like. So I'll hit my play button here and let's see how this looks like. So this is our first content loaded. And when I swipe up, I get to the next video, swipe up, next video. Perfect. Swipe up, next video and swipe up. I get to the next video. I can also swipe down when I want. And this looks absolutely gorgeous guys. So this is the exact tutorial. I think there's no fuss about this. It's a really simple interaction. Also, if you notice, I've made this um, music option movable. So I've done it using another component. So if you want to check it out, it's a very simple thing. Um, I'll link the source file. You can just check it out just to make it really more realistic. But this is all about it, guys. You just have to use drag and you'll be able to create this simple swipe interaction of TikTok and Instagram Reel. So yeah, there it is. And have fun creating this. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.